Today, I am grooming a gorgeous three-year-old King Shepherd named Zeus. If you'd like to see his sister Maya be groomed, you can go back to my previous video. Maya is a long-haired German Shepherd, and she had a dramatic before and after. Stay tuned until the end of this video to see how I clean up my shop after a major fernado. Oh, you are such a whiny baby. Please stop crying, you big giant beast. All right, you are equally as dirty as Maya. So, same scenario. Nasty critter, deep cleaning shampoo, and then de-shedding shampoo. You ready, buddy? The shop is a complete mess, and that's because I just did his sister, Maya, who is also a long-haired shepherd. So, if you're wondering why there's hair everywhere, there's no sense of me cleaning up after I do her and then do him. But at the end of this video, I will show you how I clean my shop after grooming two large, hairy beasts. So Zeus is a King Shepherd, which is essentially a mixed breed dog. I believe Shepherd, Malamute. I can't remember what else is mixed in there. He looks like a Shepherd, but he is not a purebred Shepherd. Turn this way. Or don't. Thank you. Might as well just take a shower in here too. Kill two birds with one stone. You stinky. You're stinkies. Oh, you are such a whiny shepherd. You are such a whiny shepherd. Oh, please. <laughs> Zeus, do I need to put on my headphones? Are we gonna be like this today? Come on. This is unnecessary. Move it, you big giant beast. I can't move you around. You're freaking massive, man. Okay, well, there's like literally no reason to rub this in because I need way more shampoo. Am I gonna have to use the watering can on you too? Please stop whining. No, don't shake, don't shake, don't do it, not yet. Good boy. Are you gonna get treats? Are you gonna get cookies? Both you and Maya have no reaction to those, those things. Is that not what she calls them? What does she call them? Third canister of de shedding shampoo. <coughs> Sir, this is not the worst day. You're gonna be fine. Don't worry. Oh my god, man, this is insane. I literally need more shampoo. How is this humanly possible? You're really compacted back there. I know. I think you're gonna enjoy having it blow dried because it's probably itchy. No, 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 don't shake yet. Okay, my socks are officially drenched. After I'm done grooming you, having done two big shepherds in a row, I am definitely going to take a nap. Because you guys are wearing me out. You somehow still stink. Do I have to shampoo you again? This is unreal. So his coat is very compacted in certain spots making it really difficult for me to wash him properly. Now, a lot of groomers might say you can pre-dust the coat, which basically means dry them, 
with a high velocity dryer before you bathe them to blow that coat out or loosen it up. The reason why I don't like to do this is because dirty hair and dander flies all over my shop, which obviously for one thing is really gross for my shop, but then I'm breathing that in, whether I wear a mask or whatever I do. I really just don't like doing it. I've done it before, it's not my thing. I would rather struggle a bit while I'm bathing him than to pre-dry him. That's just the way I like to do things. If another groomer likes to pre-dust the coat first, that's totally up to them. I did it once and the entire white wall was brown after and it was just really gross and I did not like that. Okay, conditioner. Now we rinse and then you're done and you can stop crying so much while in the shower. Zeus, I gotta wash your back end so you gotta stop turning man. Sorry. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Are you gonna blow up the shop too? You're gonna make for an epic cleanup. I can't wait. That was sarcasm. Okay. Oh my God. What was that? So I'm gonna take him out of the shower, put him on the table and then complete his towel drying on there. That way, if he does react the same way that he's reacting right now, at least I have a good chance to get away from him. Being in an enclosed shower when a dog is panicking is not the best situation. So upon further inspection, it seemed like he had some hair loss on his tail. So there's possible he either has a sore or he had a sore and that's the reason why he didn't want me touching his tail. I don't see any sores now, but it could just be memory of a time that his tail hurt and so he got scared when I was towel drying it. I'm gonna spray him down in the stuff for dogs. His coat is very dry. So I'm gonna give him quite a bit of this, even with conditioner, still seemed very, very dry. He is getting an extra large happy hoodie. Now that he is dry, it is time to brush. Obviously both Zeus and Maya shed a ton of coat. They are both going to be far more cool this summer without all of that compacted coat. Zeus, you're being a good boy, okay? Good boy. Why you gotta go so close to the edge of the table, buddy? Hmm? You are so beautiful. Your coat is going to be so nice. Yeah, then you're gonna go home. Okay? Hey, 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 stay. I know you have some 
a little bit of matting here that I can't get with my brush because it's too close to your man parts. So one second. Thank you. So pretty Zeus, or should I say handsome? Okay. Good boy. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. Shh. Stay. I can't see if you move so much. Stay, stay. No, stay. Nope. Stay, stay. No fighting me. You are killing me. <sighs> the only thing I'm trimming today is back here on the back of his paws. I love his natural coat. I know his owners love his natural coat. He doesn't have any matting, so there's no need for me to give him a haircut like I had to do with Maya. Good boy. Good boy. I really hate lifting those paws for me, eh? I would really like to trim your nails a little bit more, but you are too squirmy, and I don't want to take them too short because then you'll never trust me again. Hey, relax. Anything you can do to make this more difficult on me, right? Hey, stay. Oh, man. Pain in the butt. Stay. Stay. Stay there. You have one more. Boy. Good boy. No. And Zeus is happy to be all finished. So I'm gonna let him down. We're gonna go in the yard, get some footage of him in the yard. If you wanna see Maya's video, don't forget to go back. I've also linked her video in the description for you. And don't forget to stay tuned because I'm going to clean the shop and show you guys how I clean the entire shop. And it's going to be quite the cleanup today. Thank you guys again for watching and I will see you in a few days. Okay, Zeus, let's go side. You wanna go side? You wanna go side, go for a play? You wanna go side? After two hours and 15 minutes, Zeus was finally completed. His groom didn't take as long as Maya's because Maya was matted and required more clipper and scissor work. Zeus is a very well-behaved and gorgeous dog, especially after his grooming. Now it's time to show you how I clean up after a major fernado. Okay, so it's time to clean this disaster. And the first thing I'm going to do is sweep up all of the hair and put it into a garbage bag because if I vacuum it with the shop vac then I have to clear out the shop vac more often which I don't like doing so we sweep 
In total, to groom both of those dogs with a 15 minute break, it took five hours. Okay, there's also a bunch of hair in this shower. So I'm going to clear out the drains, grab this hair here, squeeze the water out of it. Okay, now it's time to clean the wall. Obviously you can see there is a ton of hair. It goes all the way up. This is my least favorite part of cleaning up. I hate cleaning this wall. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is take the hair off the wall. Yes, this is a car brush, I think. No, it is not a car brush, it is for a dustpan. And in my opinion, it works great of getting the hair off. I need to do this first before I vacuum. Get all the hair off of the bar. Now I'm going to vacuum the whole room. Okay, now it's time to clean the wall and the table and the grooming loop. And I'm gonna hold my breath for this. Okay, this is all disinfected and ready for the dog tomorrow. And now I am going to clean the shower. So the first thing I'm gonna do is rinse all the hair down the drain. There's lots of hair that's gonna fly here, so I try to get it all wet as quickly as possible. Collect all of this hair. Now I'm gonna spray this in bleach. And using a scrub brush, I'm going to scrub mostly the out. rinse it all down. A lot of people ask me if my drains ever clog. They never clog. I've never had clogged drains in all the years I've been grooming, and that's because of this. This collects all of the hair and prevents clogging. Last but not least, I'm going to clean the bathtub. I did not use the tub today, however, all of Maya and Zeus's hair went all over the tub as I was blow drying, so I do need to clean that. Before I do that, I notice that this chair is full of hair. So using the Equi Groomer, I will collect all of the hair. These are filters for my dryer. I don't spray them with disinfectant because I don't want to ruin the fine material, but I am going to use hot water and rinse this all out. This is all dander from the dogs. These have to be shaked and then left on the edges to dry over here. 
And now everything needs to be rinsed down because it's covered in hair. This is the hair catcher that's in my drain, so I just take all that hair. This tub is already clean. It just had some hair in it that was blowing around. Need some more hair. After an hour, the shop was finally clean, but I still have to mop the floors. It's important to remember when paying for a grooming service that it's not just the groom you're paying for. You're also paying for the cleanup afterwards. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay tuned for my next video, which is going to be quite funny.